Hey race team, this is Jason at Go Power Sports, your one-stop shop for go-kart and mini bike performance needs. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to never pay for gas again. One second. Hello? Jason? Jason? Hey Jason, I'm at the track uh, and I keep on losing. Uh, I'm just too slow. Okay, what are you riding? Uh, Stock Storm 200? Why can't I pick up any speed? Shh, 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 I got you. Great, Jason, thanks. Th oh, Jason? Jason, oh, I must have lost connection. Here, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go walk down the road a little bit. Scratch what I was saying. Today, we're gonna go over how to upgrade your Storm 200 from a stock performer to a supercharged speed machine. Let's get into it. All right, so I have to know what my customer is going through. So right now we have a Trailmaster Storm 200 stock. Let's take a first spin. First, I had to see what our customer was working with. So, I took a stock Storm 200 for a spin. Check out these numbers. Over 30 miles an hour, great acceleration off the line. Great for a weekend rider, but let me show you how to build this up to unleash the Storm's full potential. So, I took the Storm 200 out for a spin, and that was a rough ride. You could feel every nook and cranny, every bump out there. My teeth were shaking. It did have tremendous power. That six and a half horsepower engine can definitely scoot me along. This engine is definitely meant for teenagers and adults. I would not put a kid on this bike. But off roading, it's rough. It was a stock mini bike. Great for its price, but there's no extra bells and whistles. The Trailmaster Storm 200 mini bike is a great starter bike and one of the cheapest mini bikes you can get from Trailmaster. Despite its size, this mini bike is best for teenagers and adults due to the included powerful six and a half horsepower engine. It's definitely not for kids, but if you're looking for a great starter bike, check out our Mega Moto 98 or Little Rascal 98. So we've established this bike is great in its stock form, but here at Go Power Sports, we believe there's always room for improvement. We're going to boost its performance, making it faster, more powerful, and even more fun to ride. Tools you will need for this job, an impact, a pair of cutters, needle nose, a chain breaker, hammer. It's good to have a whole socket set, one with a quarter inch drive, a three eighths drive, and a half inch drive. What's nice about the quarter inch socket says that you can use those on your engine parts. Three eighths will be your most used, but even on the rear axles and whatnot, you'll need half inch drive as well. You'll need a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. On this job, I used a 10, 12, 13, and 14 millimeter wrench. For sockets, I mainly used eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17 mil, three quarter inch, and a one inch socket. And for the Allen wrenches, I used a three mil and a six mil. Now let's throw these upgrades onto the Storm 200. I'm going to start with the front of the Storm 200. I'm going to take off the front forks and start putting on the front suspension kit. I'm going to be using a 14 mil wrench and a 12 mil socket to take off this neck bolt. I'm going to go ahead and install the front fender before putting on the tire and wheel just so that it's easier to get to. We're going to tighten this down to where the nylon on this lock nut touches the threads. Little spin, nice. Now with your original neck bolt, you go bolt, washer on top, then your suspension kit. And 
then another washer, bottom suspension plate, washer, and nut. All right, tighten your neck bolt on up with your 12 and 14 mil wrenches or sockets. Still a good amount of wiggle. Back it up a scotch. Nice. Got a front fender on our 15 inch street tire with the six inch mag wheels. This thing's looking sweet. We'll be using our Megamoto riser clamps because this is a Megamoto front suspension kit. An honorable shout out would be our billet risers. We have them in short and tall like these, silver and black. They are a single mount. Our front suspension kit is a dual mount. If you wanted to use these, you would just need to drill out a hole through this top plate and then slap these on. But we're just gonna go with the Mega Moto ones for this one. We decided to go with our vintage ape hangers. Has a nice little kickback for a smooth look. Yeah, that's gonna look clean. All right, so with our riser clamps, we're going to use a 12 mil and a 10 mil to get these tightened up. Now that I have the vintage apes on, I'm going to put on all the controls like your brake handles and I'll put on a new twist throttle grip. All right, all right, all right. Cool. So I'm moving on to the engine. This bike was a return. It was flipped upside down. There's oil all over this engine. I'm gonna take it out. I'm going to swap it out with the exact engine, this Jong Dong 6.5 horsepower engine, but it's gonna have a stage one kit on it. Now that I have the engine out, I'm going to now take out the rear wheel, swap it with the 15 by 5, 6 street tire. Just to show you a comparison, going with the 15 inch street tires, you also get more ground clearance. See so, you know, just a little bit taller, a little bit counts. Mini biking ain't easy. So we got our outside spacer, inside spacer. I've already swapped out the brake disc from the original Storm 200, and I'm keeping the same 62 sprocket on the other side. But if you didn't want a 62 sprocket, we also have other options. Check out this link above. All right, now that I have the 15 inch street tire on, I'm going to tighten it down using a 14 and a 17 mil socket. All right, we have the front and rear wheels on. Now we're gonna throw on the stage one Jung Dong engine. And with any new engine, we like to use our Tillotson four stroke engine oil. I keep going. 
Right, and action. There. Since we're going to be putting on the 30 series torque converter kit onto the Storm 200, you need to make sure you have engine risers. All right, now that I have the engine risers in place, I'm going to use both 13 mil socket and a 13 mil wrench to draw down my engine bolts. All right, we're going to put on our front number plate with our GPS transfer sticker on. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this front suspension kit while I'm looking at it. In order to do that, I'm going to use a number six Allen wrench. So now that we have the handlebars on, the front suspension on, front and rear tires, we also have our stage one kit with the chrome drag header pipe on it. Last thing, we are going to put our 30 series kit torque converter onto this engine. Before you can move on, make sure that this tab off the frame is cut and that the seat bolt is also cut so you can fit everything inside the frame. Another thing that I find, found out that with the torque converter kit, they came with 5 16 bolts. With this Zhang Dang engine, we're actually using 8 mil bolts. So these do have lock washers on there. So if you give it a good, pretty good ugga dugga, you should be good. Those lock washers will prevent those bolts from backing out. Allegedly. Ugga dugga, ugga dugga. Noish. Now this driven pulley is right off of that frame, but it works, it fits. To, to make it a little easier, I'm going to take this driven pulley off. I'm gonna slide our 30 series belt inside there and keep moving. So 30 series belt, flat end towards the engine. Finagle it on. All right, we're going to use a one inch socket Tighten down our driven pulley. Now we're going to put on the driver pulley. Boom. We got our idle bushing on, belt goes over. Rest of the driver on. And go on lock, lock washer. I'm having to use an eight mil bolt as well for the crankshaft bolt. I go lock washer, flat washer, Pac-Man washer. Nice. I'm going to put the chain on. I'm most likely going to have to cut that chain since the front sprocket is a whole lot closer to the rear sprocket. So let me slap on that old chain, see how much we need to take off. So I have loosened up this rear wheel and there's a bunch of adjustment on these Storm 200s, which is really nice. So I've got it pretty close. That's as close as I can get because the brake disc is jammed inside the caliper. But I have all this room to come back. So typically I want about three eighths of play. And that means like from middle of the chain from top to bottom, there's only three eighths of play. Here I'm gonna get awfully close. 
and then I can scoot the rear wheel back to take any tension out. I'm now connecting the master link and after that we'll go ahead and take the slack out. Alright, before we tighten up the rear axle we're going to use these chain adjusters to take the slack out of the chain. So with the 30 series torque converter now on we did run into a few issues. You do need to have the engine risers. You do need to change all of your hardware from 516 standard to an 8 mil bolts just so that everything will attach to this Zhongdang engine. And you also have to be able to space the torque converter away from the engine so that your sprockets are aligned. But now that we have everything good to go, let's take this for a ride. Alright, now's the time for the moment of truth. Let's take this upgraded Storm 200 out for a little spin. love this thing stock it was bumpy as all all get out but with the front suspension the 15 inch street tires the stage one kit and the torque converter kit it's a wheeling machine but it's a lot of fun and maybe because I'm on concrete but this is a lot more enjoyable wow what a difference let's get back to our customer to help him out Your mini bike is now a true performance machine. It's faster, more powerful, and even more fun to ride. Oh, thanks. I really need it. Uh, someone just stole my lunch money. What a nerd. Uh, hello? Jason? 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 And that's how you upgrade a Trailmaster Storm 200 mini bike. Remember, if you're looking for performance parts for your mini bike or go kart, Go Power Sports has got you covered. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment letting us know what you'd like to see us do next. Until next time, ride on.